Fall damage in Minecraft, nobody likes it. How can you avoid it? Hey guys, it's OMG Chad. We're gonna take a look at fall damage in this episode. Now, these are a few techniques on how to prepare for fall damage, so like some things that you might be able to build in your world so that you could stop fall damage. A few things that you can do on the fly if you happen to be, say, flying with elytra, your elytra break and you take a big tumble, or if you are out and about and exploring, need to get down from a high place quickly, how can you do it without taking any fall damage? Image at all so let's take a look so here we are inside of minecraft and we are going to hopefully go through all of this without dying to fall damage so the first thing that we got to do is switch into survival so that you know that everything that i'm doing is legit now you can fall up to uh 23 blocks without dying so this ladder is 23 blocks tall and as i fall off of it onto the other side without jumping i should be at half a heart there we go and i didn't die now obviously the things that will make sure that you don't take as much fall damage are feather falling feather falling can go up to four and that would really really help uh your fall damage uh, a, a lot. Um, I basically in any of my survival worlds, I try to make sure to have <laughs> feather falling on. So with feather falling on with the same height, bam, it took me down a lot less. So feather falling is one. Next is elytra. As you're falling, if you place, if you press space a second time, then you will activate the elytra. And as long as you're not looking straight down and looking kind of sideways, they will take over most of you guys know about elytra next is water buckets and to test out these next ones i am going to teleport myself up into the air to show you guys so i'm going to go up 100 blocks and the the thing to do with this is to look straight down and spam click the water bucket is just click it over and over and over again while making to making sure to look straight down ah, i didn't do it oh i was so hoping I could go this entire time of recording. Oh, whoops, I just put on my feather falling. <laughs> oh, see, dang, darn, 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 darn. Well, I was hoping that I could go the whole uh, recording without dying once to fall damage. But as you can see, even someone who knows what they're doing, uh, it can sometimes work and sometimes not work to catch the water in the uh in in uh, on the block you now whenever you do fall you'll notice that your view actually goes below your feet almost you can see that my view gets kind of locked right here but as i fall my view almost goes back a bit just ignore that you can kind of see that i almost go below where i'm falling oh and see sometimes that happens as well where you uh where you fall and then you place the block, but it wasn't placed quick enough in order for you to actually fall into it. You almost, anyway, you saw what happened. Okay, let's pick up that water. Next is slime blocks. Slime blocks have been in the game for a little while. With slime blocks, you can fall from almost infinite heights and they will bounce you back up into the air. If you get tired of this bouncing, you can actually hit the space bar or whatever jump key and you'll jump kind of resetting your height so you can fall from really big heights i'm going to press the space bar and you can see that it's really not that exciting once i actually land on the slime instead of that huge jump that you did before this thing oh my gosh well that's just annoying so if you hit space bar then you won't do that and you'll be able to get right off of the slime blocks really really quickly another thing and but but so this is kind of like uh you'd have to have this already set up at a base also of course you guys probably have known that you can put down water and fall into a pretty shallow amount of water let me go ahead and get in here and then teleport up and even in this one block of water i'm able to fall and reset my fall damage so 
Uh, water and slime blocks are all things that you kind of have to have set up in advance. Uh, also, this next one, which is a boat, you kind of need to think of as you're about ready to make your fall. This can't be something you do, uh, like, let's say you're flying along with your elytra, and then uh, they break and you start to fall and you need to think quickly on your feet to recover. A boat cannot be used. But if you're at the top of a high mountain or a high fall and you want to make your way down safely, you can use a boat, get in the boat, and then using, I'm just going to go into F5 here, push yourself off just by using your arrow keys and you'll slowly fall to the ground and then you will not take fall damage as you hit the ground, which is kind of nice. But you do have to think of that before you fall off. Next is a new potion to 1.13, the potion of slow falling. With this, if you were to drink your potion, as long as you can drink it before you hit the ground, you'll be safe and you won't take any fall damage. You really don't need any lead time on this as long as you have it uh, completely consumed before you hit the block, you'll be good. It does kind of, as you're falling, give a uh, sort of a slowdown animation the longer that you fall, uh, but that doesn't really matter so much. The next one that I am positively sure that I am not going to do correctly is as you are falling, you can place down a ladder or try to catch a ladder and that ladder will slow your fall. So you can reset your falling speed if you hit that ladder. I think that I might be able to do that if I teleport right here. There we go. So because I'm standing next to the ladder and teleported directly above my current position, I am naturally catching this ladder. Oh, wait, I'm also in creative mode. LOL. Okay, let's try that in survival mode. Let's see if what he says is actually true. Okay, no, no, that didn't work. Okay, I've added some more ladders here. Let's switch back into survival and get right up against them. And I'm just doing this because of my lack of skill. But as you hit them, there you go. Your speed will reset and you won't take fall damage. You just need a few more ladders than uh, the one that I was using. Something that I can pull off is using cobwebs. This works very similar to the water bucket, except that you're going to be using a cobweb. You do the same technique. You look straight down, spam that button, and hope that it works. Let's try that one more time. Spam click. Uh-oh. Uh, third try. Fourth try is the charm. There we go. So we're able to pull that one off. So as you can see, uh, even if you know exactly what you're doing and you don't even have uh, nerves at the moment, it can still be difficult to pull off. A little bit less difficult is the Ender Pearl, where you throw it right before you hit the ground, and the Ender Pearl will hit the ground before you do and reset your speed. Uh, it'll take you'll take the same amount of damage as if you were just to normally throw an Ender Pearl around. So. Uh, it's a, a lot better uh, than taking the fall damage. You can really throw this almost at any point uh, because if you throw it straight down, the inner pearl will go faster than you as you are falling. Next, this, if you thought the ones before, like landing on a ladder or putting down cobwebs was difficult, you can land on an animal and be able to uh, to, to not take fall damage. This is very, very, very difficult. So this llama right here. Okay, yeah, I didn't get it. I can even place down an untamed horse because on untamed horses, you can jump on them. Uh, you do need to make sure that you don't have anything in your hand. If you have anything in your hand, the horse will just neigh at you. And uh, when you're falling, you definitely don't uh, want that at all. So if you are able to perfectly position yourself over an animal, sometimes you can catch the animal. You're doing the exact same technique Oh man, as falling on the water and on the cobwebs where you are trying to spam click as fast as you can. This animal really can't be walking uh, if you're gonna be trying this. And oh, I've done it before, I know it works. There we go, caught him, landed on him, he uh, knocked me off, but I was able to do it without taking any fall damage. 
And finally, the final thing that you can do in order to avoid fall damage is probably the most cheaty way of pulling it off, and that is to log out and log back in to your world, and that will reset your falling <laughs> from where you last were. So if we go ahead and TP up again, you can really, especially if you're in a single player, hit escape at the last minute, hit uh, save and quit whenever you want, log back in, and there you go. Your fall damage is completely reset. So that could work for you as well. Hope you found this useful. This is just kind of a list of ideas that me and my Twitch chat came up with. So if there's anything that we forgot to mention, make sure you mention it in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down if you hated it. And make sure you subscribe for future tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. We'll see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.